Welcome to the Republic of Me. My name is Ivana, and this is a channel where I share my creative journey and some parts of my life living on an island in the Mediterranean. Even though we had a few days of crazy weather sometime in October, the autumn so far has been lovely. Still warm, but not unbearably so. Cyprus is known to have wild storms during the winter, and we were expecting Storm Eva to bring severe rain and wind, but it really wasn't as bad as we thought it would be. Where in most parts of the Northern Hemisphere, this is the time of the year when the trees lose their leaves. Here on the other hand, this is the time when Cyprus starts waking up. Very much awaited rains bring life to the land and everything becomes green again. No, look at them. I know what are they eating? They're eating Bogonvillea. Oh my goodness, look at them, Alex. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a white chicken. There is a white one? Yeah. Yeah. Never heard yeah, I never heard that's, one sound like that. That's so cool. They're not leaving. No, they're not afraid of us. Do they honestly just spend their day around here just chilling? Yeah, pretty much. It seems kind of boring. <laughs> Look at them. This year I have been quite organized regarding the Christmas gifts that I was going to knit. I have decided early in the summer that most of the gifts, whether for birthdays that were coming up or for Christmas, are going to be hand-knitted socks. Since I'm surrounded by men in my family and their feet tend to be larger, I knew that in order to be able to knit them each two pairs of socks, I was going to have to go for a larger gauge and knit the socks in DK or Aran weight. However, for my niece, I have used Drop Snord, which I believe is a sport weight yarn. The way that I normally knit socks is cuff down, knitting a tube of about 30 centimeters, which is 12 inches, before I start decreasing for the toes. Since over the months I have measured everybody's feet, this way allows me to have the knitted tubes ready and as I need I can simply refer to the measurements in my notebook and insert the afterthought heel. Thank you. 
I think this one is going to be a bit disjointed and all over the place, I have a feeling from now. But um, we're just going to go with it. And I started recording um, sometime last week because I wanted to show you some socks because I needed quite a few socks um, for birthdays that are coming up and for Christmas. And I wanted to show you some socks that, uh, that I was making as gifts. However, one, uh, one of the gifts I needed to give last week. So I recorded uh, one morning, as soon as I woke up, I realized that, oh crap, I didn't record and I need to give them away uh, tonight. So I came to my living room in my pajamas with messy hair. I will show you that clip. I don't know. I'm not really proud of it, but um, that's the only that's the only footage that I have of uh, those socks. And when I was looking at it afterwards, I saw the reflection in my glasses, and it's all over the place. I just woke up. The thing is that in the morning I don't tend to wear um, glasses. I do have them here, but there are these readers. I don't tend to wear glasses uh, throughout the day. However, as older as I'm getting, when I wake up, everything is blurry. I'm kind of blind. So in the morning, the first uh, one hour or so, I need to wear the glasses. And um, see, I don't know if the, again, the reflection is on. I'm okay now, but that, uh, that uh, footage that I have there in the living room, um, I'm wearing them and there is a reflection because I'm sitting right in front of the window. So, um, I'll, uh, I'll leave you with that footage and then I'll come back to show you the rest of the socks. Good morning. Okay, they're still working outside and um, I'm in my pyjama. I didn't really plan to record uh, today but um, I kind of need to because I've been meaning to show you the socks that I've knitted for for gifts uh, that are coming up uh, to Christmas as well as Christmas gifts and I have quite a few and I've been meaning to show them to you but uh, at a later date however two pairs of socks that are for my brother-in-law they're for his birthday and his birthday is tomorrow so um, I kind of uh, need to show them now. So I'll try to show um, a few other ones that I made as well. Um, I decided this year, and I've been pretty organized, uh, to, for most of the people for this Christmas and uh, birthdays that are coming up uh, to Christmas, to make uh, about two pairs of socks each. And I started earlier in the summer, so I've been really organized and um, I think I'm pretty much done. So what I did, most of them are men's socks. So if you're a sock knitter, you know that that uh, takes uh, much longer than um, for us girls. But uh, what I did, I knitted them with two strands of fingering, so uh, they are DK socks, so that allowed me to kind of uh, finish them uh, quicker. Let me see if I have, okay, yeah, well, a little bit, I'm looking at the glasses if I have, uh, if I have the reflection. The thing is, in the morning, when I wake up, as older as I'm, as I'm getting older, in the morning I'm blind, it's like I can't really see, and then, oh my god, my phone is ringing. Give me a sec. Sorry about that. Oh no, and I see the batteries running out as well. Nothing seems to be going right this morning, but the interruption was because the courier service came and um, look what came. Sequence knitting by Cecilia Camp uh, Campociaro. And this is a book that I wanted uh, for a very long time and I finally ordered it uh, from American Amazon, uh, Amazon US. And uh, it just arrived so I didn't flip uh, through it but I'm really looking forward to, to do that today. And this book is basically a combination of uh, patterns that you can get simply with knits and pearls. So 
I'm really, really looking forward to uh, through looking through this book, and uh, maybe I'm going to talk about it at uh, some other time. But before my battery runs out, let me just uh, start uh, showing you at least the socks that I need to give tomorrow. Uh, what I did, I I had a bunch of um, loads of colors of uh, Cascade Heritage sock yarn. When I ordered, when I ordered uh, Cascade Heritage, I wasn't aware that it was superwash. It's a beautiful yarn, it really is, but um, I'm not a big fan of superwash. And I didn't knit any of the socks with it alone. What I decided to do, because also I, um, I had, over the years I have bought from eBay some unbranded yarn that I don't even really know the combination. I know it has cashmere in it, but I think it has acrylic as well uh, because the price didn't reflect uh, pure cashmere. But it's very, very soft. If you see, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to see uh, the fluff. And um, so I have, I have it in different colors. In green, in brown, beige, white. So, I since I don't really know the, the combination, the, the fiber content of these yarns, all I know is that they are really, really soft. And I don't have enough for, uh, of each color uh, for a garment. What I decided to do is make so to make knit socks holding one strand of Cascade Heritage and one strand of uh, this yarn that I have. So that way, I get the softness from this yarn as well as from the Cascade Heritage but also the strength uh, because this, uh, this yarn has nylon in it. So that's what I did. I still have quite a bit left from uh, both, uh, both types of, type of yarns but they came out really nice. I even bought sock blockers but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show you the sock blockers but I'm not gonna put any socks uh, on them today because these are my size. And if I remember, I got them from Etsy, Etsy from uh, one store in Poland, a, a maker in Poland, and the service was really, really nice. The price was good, the service was nice, they shipped right away, it came quickly. They're laser cut, but I have a laser cutter and I know that when you cut on a laser, the edges can be rough. However, these have been sanded beautifully and I think that the wood has even been oiled. So I'm really happy with, um, with the service uh, from this uh, maker, from this shop. So if I remember, I'm going to try to link it um, in the description. But before the battery runs out. so. For my brother-in-law, whose birthday is tomorrow, I knitted these two pairs of socks. And so I held, uh, for these ones, I held navy blue, Cascade Heritage, and uh, this uh, fluffy yarn that, uh, that I told you. The fabric, I used 2.5 uh, millimeter needles and the fabric that it created it's dense and soft it's perfect for socks it was a bit hard on my hands so for the, some other pairs that i knitted uh, later on i used three millimeter needles however i'm very happy the the way these uh, came out I don't, I'm looking because I have like a little screen on the side of the camera and I'm trying to see uh, how well it shows but because the light is in my face I can't really tell so I really hope that it's focusing when I put it uh, in, front of, uh, in front of the camera. So for these ones um, I just kind of alternated like here I used brown uh, this uh, fluffy brown yarn and uh, brown Cascade Heritage. There are two different shades, but they created uh, this really nice marled fabric.
and what I did I alternated so for one pair of socks the body I did in uh, in uh, this brown shade and the heel in uh, blue in navy blue and for the other pair of socks I knitted them in blue and I made the heel in uh, in brown and they look massive like that but when I had my husband try them on my Mario to try them on they fit they fit just fine however compared to my socks it's ridiculous these look like flippers these look massive but they came out really nice and I hope uh, I hope that he's going to like it because last year by accident I gave him a pair of socks because I knitted them for Mario and they came out too big and I thought okay instead of ripping them out I'm gonna give them to Tasso to see if they fit and if he ever gets to use them you know great and I gave them to him and he told me later on because they traveled to Scotland soon after he said those socks are the only thing that saved him because they I think they went uh, during the winter it he, was really cold and he said those socks uh, saved him so now I know that he's going to um, appreciate uh, these socks so these are the ones that I need uh, to give tomorrow okay let's see how much we can uh, show more until the battery runs out and then um, and then I'll continue another day because the whole point of uh, recording now in my pajama was because I need to wrap these socks. Uh, his birthday is tomorrow, but we are going tonight uh, to their house. Okay, so I guess you saw the footage of how I look as soon as I wake up. I'm not going to dwell much on it, um, but let's go ahead and I want to show you the, the other socks that I have. So I think I showed you just for my, one of my brother-in-laws. And uh, for another brother-in-law, Mario's brother, I have knitted... Uh, same uh, same sock same combination holding cascade heritage uh, one strand of cascade heritage and one strand of this unknown beautifully soft yarn and for him i have made uh, two pairs uh, one of them i have combined uh, green cascade heritage as well as green um, this fluffy yarn however the different shades so it created a beautifully marled marled effect I don't think there is much point to show them like this because they don't really look um, much like this unless I put them on the sock blockers but the blockers that I have they are they are small uh, for the for this size of the socks however the I like the fabric that it created I like marled looks in fact my my favorite type of yarn is heathered yarn I don't necessarily like speckled I never knitted with speckled yarn but uh, I know that uh, I prefer not, not necessarily marled, but more heathered yarn. However, I do like how these came out. So this is one pair, and the other pair is also two strands, but I made them in burgundy, and the color 
blend it, it looks like one color. So these are for my, uh, my other brother-in-law, which his birthday is at the end of November. And I think those are the ones for birthdays. For Christmas, I have for my two stepsons, my niece and my nephew. For one of my stepsons, he's a bit eccentric in the way that he dresses. And uh, I made him two completely separate uh, type of socks. One of them is, uh, they look like carrot. They remind me of a carrot. And these ones, oh, it got darker all of a sudden. Um, these ones, I have knitted holding two strands of Cascade. The orange is two strands of Cascade. And the green is uh, like these uh, previous ones that I showed you. So this is uh, one pair. And the other pair, I was holding, so this is one pair, the carrot socks. And the other one, the other pair that I was uh, knitting, I was holding one strand of just undyed sock yarn with kind of um, fade ombre mohair blend that I had. So they came out different. The the, the shading came out different because how um, how the skein was of mohair uh, blend was unraveling. They they came out different but I really like that considering that um, I know his style and that he likes a little bit eccentric and strange um, strange wardrobe so and these are more woolly well because of the more hair blend compared to the ones that are just uh, cascade even though there are two strands the cascade heritage I guess that's the um, superwash quality it gave more of a slick uh, silky feel to it however these feel more woolly we're gonna send those uh, both my stepsons they they live in Finland and um, and yes in Finland they will uh, they will use uh, wool socks my older stepson he he was asking me last year to knit him a pair of socks and I did and he said they were good because he bought uh, alpaca socks, I think, in Finland, and he said that they didn't last. I don't know if the ones that I knitted him lasted, but um, he really liked them. So I'm, ma I'm making him the same type of socks um, for Christmas. One of them I finished already. Uh, well, the other one is almost finished as well. So this is a strand of... Uh, well... It's, it's sock yarn undyed that I have dyed in coffee. I had some left over um, from my father's jumper from last year or the year before. And uh, I was holding a strand of that and a strand of uh, mohair blend. And the heel, just two strands of uh, undyed yarn. So this is how these came out. The way that I the way that I need socks, I think I said it in the voiceover part of the video, is that I make a tube. So I knit a tube. I kind of uh, decide whether it's going to be for a man or for a woman because of the width of the sock. So I knit the tube that for about 30 centimeters or 12 inches, and then I decrease for the toe. And then when I have all those tubes ready, I have the measurements of everybody's feet from the beginning of the toe to where the heel is supposed to start. And then I just cut in the heel depending who I need it for and, uh, and, and finish the sock. So the other pair is again the same combination, uh, yarn that was undyed sock yarn, but I have dyed it with food coloring, holding with the mohair blend. These ones came out uh, a bit gray whereas the other one more brownish and um, so these are the more brownish and these are more gray but it's the same uh, it's the same combination of yarns and this one is finished I finished it last night and today I need to finish this one so I have cut in the heel and I'm going to knit the heel today and finish these as well for my nephew uh, who is in England 
Um, my sister is going in December, so she's going to take it for him. I made these ones. He has also a very large foot. Uh, these ones is a strand of blue cascade heritage and a strand of undyed sock yarn again and the heel two strands of undyed yarn so this is one pair and the other pair is a strand of undyed sock yarn and a strand of my hand spun and these are more woolly and they, ca they came out uh, thicker as well. So I doubt that he's going to be able to wear them inside shoes, maybe some boots, but these are more for the house. So I'm using a strand of sock yarn always to, because of the strength. I don't want them to fall apart right away. I'm not confident in my spinning for socks. Um, so I always use either only sock yarn or a strand of sock yarn and a strand of something else, whether it's mohair or my hand spun or some unknown yarn that I have. So these are the other woolly house socks. And they came out because I'm holding a, uh, my hand spun with them. So they came out mismatched. I actually do like that. I like when the socks are mismatched. I, well, it's not that I like, but I don't mind. That's for my nephew. And the last ones are for, for my niece and her boyfriend. For her boyfriend, I held a strand of um, Cascade Heritage and a strand of Mohair Blend. But I had uh, some... Uh, a bits and pieces left over so I wanted to use those for the cuff as well to kind of stripe them and you see how mohair uh, blend this brown mohair kind of gives it it changes the sock right away and I, I like the way that it gives it this woolly feel because super wash yarn um, I don't, I don't know how to say, it's not that I don't like it, but I do prefer more um, woolly feel of the yarn, soft, but still woolly rather than silky, if you, if you know what I mean. And for my niece, oh, there is a backstory to that, for my niece. Uh, I went uh, last week or two weeks ago to, to a shop with, uh, to one shop with uh, my younger son, Alex. And we went, uh, we were walking around and uh, I bought uh, these two notebooks and I'm a sucker for, uh, for stationery, I love notebooks. And these two notebooks, they have this velvety, velvety covers and I really, really like them. So I got those for myself. And then as we were going through the shop further, I came across this makeup bag or toiletry bag that was fake fur, kind of fluffy, but also this dusty pink, which is very similar to, um, to this notebook. And I said, okay, I'm gonna get this uh, bag. I don't know why I would need the furry makeup bag, but, um, but I got it because it looked really nice with, uh, with the notebook. And then as I came home, I thought, oh my God, I said, I remembered the socks that I needed uh, for my niece. And I pulled them out and check this out. Right? Right? So these are done in, um, in Drop Snort. So th these are not DK, th I think Drop Snort is sport weight. And, uh, but because the girl socks and uh, she's the only girl so um, they're a bit smaller so I, uh, I was able to knit on a smaller needle and a smaller gauge so I made these in uh, drop snored they're this dusty dusty pink and the heel also drop snored um, beige in a uh, beigey color sand kind of uh, color Oh, sorry. Um, 
So then when I realized that the socks, uh, this really doesn't show well like this. Um, when I realized that the socks are the same, the same dusty pink as the, the makeup bag, the toiletry bag that I got and the notebook, then I thought, okay, I'm going to get myself another notebook and this is going to be a set that I'm going to give her for Christmas. Right? How pretty is that? I mean, I'm 43, I'm going to be 44 and I still get excited when, uh, when I see something like this. It's, it's like a little girl. So the plan for today is that I'm going to, I was weaving one shawl. My parents are going to Belgrade, I think on Monday. And uh, I wanted to weave a shawl for my mom's best friend. This is a woman that um, played a very big part of uh, my in my childhood. And I haven't seen her for years. But I know she's ho ho going through a hard time. She lost her husband, uh, her husband, a couple of years ago. And she's going twice a week for dialysis. And I really wanted to weave her a shawl. I managed to finish it. I have to take it off the loom today and finish the, the fringe and cut the fringe so I can prepare it uh, for my parents uh, to, to take the shawl to her on Monday when they go. That's the plan for today. And if I don't speak to you again uh, before the video finishes, I want to leave you with, um, with a very cute footage. My husband, Mario, he went um, sometime last month, he went with his cousins for a road trip. It was a short road trip for a day. But he, he sent me this footage and it was just so precious. In one moment, they, uh, the cars were stopped because goats uh, needed to cross uh, the road. And uh, I'm going to leave you with that and I hope you like it. And I will see you soon. Bye for now. I worked the loom last night, or dressed the loom, I think is another way of uh, saying it. I used, um, it's going to be another shawl. This is uh, just, um, I think this is called a header when you put scrap yarn at uh, the beginning of the weaving just so you can spread the warp so it's not uh, from tying. So it's all even uh, for you to start uh, weaving. So for the header I use some old uh, bulky wool that uh, from an old blanket that I knitted but it, I, I ripped it out, uh, I reclaimed the yarn because the blanket didn't hold well. I knitted it uh, a couple of years ago and it peeled quite a bit and it didn't hold up well so I reused the yarn and I have quite a bit of it and so I'm using it just for these as a uh, scrap yarn before I start weaving. So this is going to be a new shawl and for the warp I also reclaimed uh, some yarn from an old blanket and the yarn is this uh, Fisherman's Wool by Lion Brand. I have, uh, I still have these two balls of them so I have probably for another warp for another shawl. But uh, I, I like this wool, it's very rustic but uh, I don't think that I knitted the the blanket at a proper gauge uh, it was too loose and it was spilling quite a bit so I reused the yarn and I'm using it now for the warp for the weft I'm not sure what I'm going to what I'm going to be using I brought down some of my hand spun that I have here in the colors that I'm interested in and I'm also going to use white marine merino that I have so I think this i think this is a blend of uh, shetland and tassa silk i think i will use that to match the brown on the weft oh sorry on the warp so i think i'll use this and also white merino and i'm not sure what else i'm going to i'm going to blend uh, different colors but i think i'm going to start doing that tonight Gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell 
I can't be without you I've tried and I failed So can we work it out? Only time will tell Why do you, why do you keep telling me nothing? But I know all your flaws at least they say something Still I try to connect with you through your eyes Your eyes What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak I have crossed the line But no, not just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond us Us, us Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be with You, I've tried and I failed So can we work it out, yeah Only time will tell I still want all of you and I know all your colors And I guess cause of that I can think of no others Yeah, I need you to breathe without you, I'm lost I'm lost, yeah What is on your mind? Just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond us Look at that, how cool is that? <laughs> Have they all got bells on? Are the bells on their ears? This could become a YouTube viral video very soon if he doesn't stop. Ha, 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 ha.